Hey guys, what's up? Here is Max. Dragon Ball Z Battle of the Gods was the first time we heard about the Gods of Destruction. The first god that appeared in the series was Beerus, along with his assistant, Whis. And as we saw in the movie itself and later in the Dragon Ball Super series, Whis basically does whatever Beerus tells him to do. But at the same time, he's also a supervisor and master of the Destroyer. This role of an angel as does it all works in all universes, as for example, when Champa sent his angel Vados to destroy a planet and she obeyed. Vados! Another example of this was with Beerus and Whis himself. When the Destroyer allowed Whis to travel through time to give Goku a chance to defeat Frieza before he blew himself up to Earth. But are angels really as obedient to the gods of destruction as we imagine? In today's video, I'm bringing you a theory that can completely change the way you see the story of Dragon Ball. Curious to know? Well, stay connected to the channel and let's go to the video. Okay. In both Dragon Ball Z Battle of the Gods and Dragon Ball Super, it is said that before Beerus went to bed to sleep, he was warned by the Oracle Fish that in 39 years a great opponent would appear, and that opponent would be a god of the Saiyan race. Right before my last nap, did you not prophesize that in 39 years my arch rival would appear? I did because he will. It's today. There you see, Whis. Now be a good little Oracle and tell me his name. I'm going to track him down. <laughs> The Super Saiyan God, a revival as strong as Beerus himself. Beerus was anxious to meet this Super Saiyan God, but as Beerus is the laziest cat in the universe, and the supposed emergence of the Super Saiyan God would only happen in 35 years, he decided to just sleep until then. But he set his alarm clock to wake up at the moment when the Super Saiyan God was supposed to appear. And it is in this moment of his long sleep of Beerus that our theory begins. It could be that after Beerus fell asleep, Whis may have sought to find out about the Saiyans, since one of the angels functions. In addition to training the gods and supervising them, it also is to look for a successor to them so that the universe is in harmony, constant balance. A proof of this is that when Vegeta asks Whis to train him, Whis said he would accept on the condition that Vegeta would become a god of destruction. And only when Vegeta accepts that the angel took him to train. Whis having a mind that one of his functions is find a successor to Beerus and that an opponent as strong as the destroyer would appear, he decided to observe the Saiyan race and see who this warrior would be. But Frieza ended up exterminating almost the entire Saiyan race, leaving just few of them and one of those few was Kakarot, who would later become Goku who was sent to Earth. When Beerus finally wakes up, he raises some questions about who the Super Saiyan God is and asks Whis about it. The angel quickly searches that magic staff looking for Super Saiyan God. He doesn't find anything in the universe with that nomenclature. But I've checked, my lord. There is currently no being in existence who goes by the name Super Saiyan God. I'm certain of it. But despite that, he already knew that there were Saiyans on planet Earth, and even that Prince Vegeta was there. Most of the Saiyans are no more, but there were a handful of survivors that were off the planet when it exploded. Incidentally, the King's son Prince Vegeta was among them. Another scene that will help us build this theory is the one where Beerus is in the shower. In this scene, Beerus is talking to Whis until the subject comes to Emperor Frieza, and that's where the angel reveals that Frieza was defeated by a Saiyan from another planet, using a new transformation called Super Saiyan. But the funny thing about this line is that Goku was not on Earth, but on the planet of King Kai. So think about it. If Whis really managed to find information about any person or race in the universe on that magic staff. He would certainly have found information about Brawly in that scene. Because when Beerus asks where all the surviving Saiyans were, Whis at least should have mentioned Brawly, Paragus, and Tarbal. But he only mentioned the Saiyans who were on planet Earth, and Goku who was on another planet at the time. All Saiyans were relevant and had a chance to be the Super Saiyan God, but Whis still left three Super Saiyan God candidates out of Beerus' knowledge. Why? The first option is that Whis deliberately decided to hide the existence of the other Saiyans from Beerus, which makes no sense, because he would have no reason to do so. The second option, which I believe, and this one is the most, is that Whis was already following a little about the life of these Saiyans who are on Earth. You must be saying right now, but he didn't know about the Saiyans from Earth because the staff, think with me, if the staff
staff could find the Saiyans from Earth, it would surely have found those off-Earth ones I just talked about, wouldn't it? Well, that's why I believe that Whis didn't find out about Goku and the others. Only at that moment, he saw the staff, but he already knew that before. Another evidence that Whis's staff is not that omniscient is that in the Tournament of Power, both he and Beerus were totally dependent on Earth's warriors to form their Universe 7 team. Even though the universe had stronger warriors than some of the Earth's participants like Brawly, for example. With all this, we can draw a theory that Whis has always been watching Goku since the day he arrived on Earth, following his growth, training over the years. This also explains why he knows so much about Vegeta, who is always with Goku. Another clue that we have that Goku is somehow special for Whis is that even though Vegeta was his first Saiyan student recently in Dragon Ball Super, Whis kind of took Goku under his wing as his official disciple, kind of putting Vegeta aside for a bit to train with Goku's Ultra Instinct. Because of this, Beerus decided to train Vegeta. Finally, in one of the Dragon Ball Super episodes, Whis talks to Beerus about the day Goku becomes a Super Saiyan God, which was the same day he met our protagonist. At that time, Whis used the words, I didn't expect Goku to get so strong. How could he expect anything from Goku if they met that day and he had no idea of Goku's potential? This line only makes sense if he had known Goku for a long time and was aware of his potential, right? For all of these reasons, well, I believe that in fact, Whis knew Goku from his childhood and throughout the Saiyan's life, he watched him grow. Did Whis really know about Goku's existence? Why don't you leave your comment on what you think about this theory and also your own theories? And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel to become our 50th thousand subscriber. Until then, bye bye.